and welcome to this Big Bugs tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how you can display butterflies in Riker frames. Riker frames, also known as Riker mounts or butterfly boxes, are a style of frame that displays your insects while also protecting them from damage. This is the type of frame we use here at Big Bugs to frame all of our insects. You can also purchase them separately on our website www.bigbugs.com. To start, we'll need to remove the face of the frame by pulling out the nails on the side of the frame. Put these nails to the side because we'll need them later to close the frame back up. Inside the Riker frame is a bed of cotton fiber that will provide a soft backing for the insects and hold it in place while it's framed. We need to make a slight indentation where the body of the butterfly will sit, that way it isn't totally crushed when we put the glass facing back on. I'll start by testing to see where the butterfly is going to be placed. Usually, this is going to be right in the middle. You can also fold the cotton padding in half to find the center of the frame. With the back end of a marker or a similar tool, press down to create a slight indentation. If your butterfly has antenna, you'll also want to press down the cotton where the antenna will lay. I repeat this motion several times until the indentation is the right size and depth. Since this butterfly's body is small, the indentation is very slight, as you can see here. For insects with larger abdomens, like moths or cicadas, you'll need to make the indentation deeper in order to accommodate for the body. If you'd like to see a separate video tutorial on how to frame those types of insects, let me know in the comments below. After the indentations have been made, we can remove the butterfly from the pin and onto the cotton. Then use forceps to adjust the butterfly until it's in the right spot. Make sure the body is aligned with the indentations we just made for it. All that's left to do now is replace the glass face of the frame. Gently place the face back onto the frame, going slowly to make sure nothing is going to break. Once that's done, you can take a look, and if it's still not in just the right place, you can remove the glass and adjust again until it's to your liking. Put the nails back into place to close the frame, and we're done! These frame insects are now ready to be hung on a wall. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos to learn more about curating and maintaining an insect collection. Thanks for watching!